hey queens how are we doing welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're doing absolutely amazing so this video is part three of the menstrual cup series the first part is where i shared my experience using menstrual cup and how to insert the menstrual cup the second part is where i shared how to remove the menstrual cup and here i'm going to be answering all the questions that you guys sent me so when i posted about the menstrual cup on my insta stories and on my facebook story that i'm going to be giving it to try a lot of you were curious i was so surprised so i decided to do this third additional video which is going to be the last part answering all the questions that i got so without much further ado let's rush into it so that this video is not long because i don't like long videos be sure to subscribe and when you subscribe tap the bell beside the subscribe button so you stay notified whenever i post new videos let's get 1000 subscribers y'all so let's go to the questions so the first question i got is can you feel the cup while wearing it no you can't feel the cup you will not feel the cup inside of you while wearing it that is one thing that i love about this menstrual cup it is so convenient you won't feel it the second thing can it get stuck inside me no it can't get stuck inside you yes i understand where this question is coming from because i've been there before and i was really concerned what if i can't get it out of me but if it's stuck there's no way it's going to enter into it's not going to go into your stomach or your uterus because the cervix is ex extremely tight so it can't get stuck inside of you it's just that for the first time you might have a little bit of um shaky hands trying to remove it because it's your first time but after that nothing else yeah so the next question is will the blood backflow no it's not going to backflow i think this question actually means like maybe when you're lying down the blood will flow back no it's not going to back flow remember it's suction to the walls of your vagina so it's not going to backflow okay so the next question how do i know which is my perfect size that is why i highly recommend that before you buy this menstrual cup i recommend diva cup because it's the one available here in nigeria that is why i'm recommending it's not as if they sponsor this or they're paying me for it it's the one that i found and i found that okay i can really get my size here so just go to shopdivacup.com i hope that's the correct website i'll write it here and i'll put a link in the description box go to their website there's a quiz there that that helps them um recommend the best cup for you so when you take the quiz you know which size is for you the sizes are numbered so the next question is how do i know if the cup is in correctly this is a very good question and how you basically know is when you put the cup inside of you if you watch the video where i shared how to insert the cup you're going to feel it pop open like you hear a soft pop sound that is how you know the cup is now open and is sitting inside of your vagina well and it would leak okay so how will i know if the cup is full there is no like formula to know whether your cup is full it's dependent on how much you know about your menstrual periods um the, just check your cup the same um, amount of time you would normally check when you wear pads do you understand if you know you're a heavy bleeder and you're always changing your pad checking it um uh, you, maybe you check after every four hours when you were wearing pad after every four hours remove it right like personally for me i've shared this so many times i'm a heavy bleeder for the first two days so for the first two days i'm always changing it after every four hours and i found that after, after that four hours it's actually almost full so i change I, I remove it and i pour up, um, out the blood but towards the third day and upwards i no longer you know change after four hours sometimes i leave it up to six seven hours so it's knowing and understanding how your flow is is it heavy is it light it will help you gauge when it, your cup is likely to be full another way you can know your cup is full is that it will start to leak right when it's full blood will start to just come out that's just it just like when your pad is full it starts to leak next question is is the cup okay is the removal painful no it's not painful at all it's not unless you have vaginismus if you have that i highly suggest you um consult a gynecologist before you start using menstrual cups 
So the next question is, what is the right age to use a cup? There is no right age to use a cup. I know some people are like, oh, I'm a virgin. Um, what if the cup, you know, is it right for me to use the cup yet? There is no right age to use a cup. Once you start menstruating, once you start bleeding, you're okay to use a cup. But if you're like doubting, you can consult a gynecologist or you just basically do your research. But there is no right age to use a cup and there is no side effects of using a menstrual cup. So, okay. Will it break my hymen? Hmm. The hymen issue is a conversation I've been wanting to have for such a long time with you. I have it with a couple of my friends all the time. So the hymen is basically a piece of, like a thin piece of skin that is around the vagina, right? And it, the hymen can be broken with different activities through horse riding, through exercise there are kinds of exercises that you do the hymen will break so there is no like significance of the hymen it won't break depending on how you insert it most women don't even have a hymen it's not even there so and again the hymen is not a determinant of your virginity these are just things that we are told we are lied to growing up when you're when you're a virgin you're a virgin if you have not slept anywhere you're not slept with anybody there is like see it's not going to break your hymen um for some people depending on how you insert even if the hymen is there and it breaks it there's no big deal about it it doesn't make you a sinner or makes you a bad person because your hymen broke when you're trying to find a safer way to go through your menstrual cycle and stop destroying the environment with parts so i hope that answers your question really next question is can i have sex with a cup in mm some people do but i do not recommend it because depending on the size of cup that you're using in fact don't have sex with a cup in but there are cups that have been made for you to be able to have sex with it in i think flex the brand called flex have cups that you can use you know while having sex and i think i've i've, I've watched a video or read some articles of women that had sex with the cup but it's not going to i don't think it's going to be it's going to be um comfortable for you so if you want to have sex like while you have the cup in i recommend you try cups that are that, that have been specifically made for you to also use when you are having sex so yeah all right so i have endometriosis can i use it yes you can use it when you have endometriosis it doesn't do anything it doesn't affect you in any way can I use it if I have IUD in? Yes, you can use it if you have IUD in. But if you have concerns, refer to a gynecologist. Or the, the if, if because most times when we say gynecologist, it's not easily accessible to go and say gynecologist. So what you can do is maybe the brand of the cup that you want to use, reach out to them on Instagram, send them an Instagram DM. Or if you feel like they might not reply you very quickly, just go to the last post they made drop a comment drop your question as a comment they're going to reply you with it if you have concerns but you can use it with an iud in okay so next question if my period comes in large clots can i use it yes you can use menstrual cups if your period comes in large clots i like the, my first two days comes in like big clots and i'm like oh god so but you have to now um, step up the amount of time you change the cups and maybe you can go for a cup uh, most brands have cups that they have specifically for people with heavy flow the the cups are usually longer but you know the nigerian thing most of these brands are not here in nigeria so diva cup is the one that is readily available so i just use the normal cup but then i make sure to change often okay so can i use for postpartum bleeding no please do not use menstrual cups for postpartum bleeding your vagina is still trying to heal please that is when you can use pads or whatever that is recommended by the doctor but do not insert cups into your vagina when you just give birth and you're having postpartum bleeding please don't do it no i did not send you beg 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 no don't try it please <laughs> no okay so next question can i swim and exercise with it yes you can girl you can swim and exercise with it that is why i love menstrual cups it's so convenient but with pads when you exercise while wearing a pad i don't know if i'm the only one you i sweat around my my butts like my buttocks i sweat and then it leaves me with rashes like it's that terrible with cups you can swim girl you can horse race you can hike you can exercise it's so convenient 
and the next question is how many do i need to buy you just need one girl unless you want to be extra and get another one but this one if you buy one it can last you for two years three years so yeah um another question how long do they last and when do i need to buy a new one like i said you can use for two years but you should also be looking out for visible changes in the quality of the cup as time goes on if you begin to feel like a powdery feeling on it basically if the cup is getting old and due for you to change you will know like it will no longer be the same the same way it was when you bought it the first time so yeah next question will it cause yeast infections or stis no it won't that's the beautiful thing about cups now the material is made of silicone right and that material doesn't introduce germs into your into your vagina it doesn't dry out the vagina it won't cause like yeast infections it won't cause stis just make sure that you sanitize like i shared in my first video the reason that you have to always you know boil it in water is you know sometimes when sometimes you might be careless with your cup or like now that i used my cup so many times in my previous videos to show you illustrate so many things my hands have touched it several times so it's it's very unhygienic that the next time I'll use it I just insert it and I have to boil it again just to keep it clean um, you just have to be extra clean right because it's entering on the inside of you but it won't cause yeast infections neither will it cause um, sexually transmitted infections which are STIs as well the question is what if I leave it in for too long um, if you leave it in for too long there are factors dependent if you have a heavy flu and you leave it in for too long and it gets full it's going to leak and it's going to stain your panties and your underwears but if you have a very light flu if you leave it in you won't even know you can leave it for seven hours when it comes because i bleed for five days I, I i menstruate for five days on my fourth fifth day i can leave it for close to nine hours in my vagina i know it's not right but sometimes I forget that's how convenient it is I leave it for that long and I don't get stained so it depends on how heavy or light it is but even if you leave it in your vagina nothing is going to happen but please don't leave it past one day that you can leave it in for too long doesn't mean you should leave it for two weeks I beg I beg okay another question is how do I sanitize it? I have mentioned it so many times. Just boil in hot water and this, in fact, every menstrual cup that you buy, it comes with an instruction manual. Just read the instruction manual to know how to um, sanitize a particular brand of menstrual cup. It differs, it differs for different brands. Question, will the cup get stained? yes it's going to get stained in the sense that as time goes on it's not going to be like white white the way you bought it like you know when you buy the menstrual cup it's like very white but for some women it stains right from for some it doesn't stain but the stunning staining doesn't um affect the quality or that it stains now means that you have to throw it away no so far you always rinse it out when you're done the staining doesn't affect the quality it's only when you begin to like i mentioned in the question someone asks when you begin to see that oh okay the quality is depreciating it's beginning to have this powdery feel and you know particles like you know when it's getting bad but the stain doesn't affect the quality when it's like no longer white white it doesn't mean you should throw it away but if you're concerned about the stain there are brands that have different colors like they i've seen a black menstrual cup i've seen pink i've seen green and the coloring does not mean that the color will wear out in your vagina or whatever that is used for the color you will absorb into your vagina no the color doesn't affect at all so if you're concerned about this thing you can maybe go for a brand that has that is not white or maybe go for a color that is like black and the rest of them okay so the next question how do i store it now every when you buy the menstrual cup it comes with a bag so this bag is where you store it in so when you're done um, sanitizing it after you must have finished your cycle you just um, sanitize you leave it to dry for like one minute and then you put it into this bag when you put it in you just tie it and then you keep it your next cycle you refer back to it that's just it and then the last question is will it make me less tight <sighs> no it's not going to make you less tight it's not going to make you less tight the vagina is elastic menstrual cups will not make your vagina look like an open well after a long period of time like an open wide mouth no your vagina is elastic the vagina is elastic it will i mean like babies come out of the vagina and they still go back to its tightness so it's not going to make it less tight my love <laughs>
<laughs> well, it's not a question. I love so hard, honestly, and I'm still happy to you know, although it's not gonna make you less tired. No. So that's it, my loves. That is all. These are just all the questions that I got. If you have more questions, leave them in the comment section. I'm going to answer them as much as I could, and other members of the community can also drop their answers to your question and also share their experiences to help you as well. I hope you found this video really resourceful. If you found this video, please share. I sincerely believe that every woman should use a menstrual cup. Why not? It's convenient, it's eco-friendly, and there are just so many benefits to it over pads and tampons. And you get to use it for over two years. So you also, it's also very economical if you think about it. So yeah, share this video with any woman or girl in your life. They need to watch this video. And please refer to the first one, the part one and the part two, if you haven't watched them, to learn how to insert and remove the menstrual cup. I need you to do me a favor before you leave. Please subscribe so that we can get to 1,000 subscribers. And when you subscribe, there's a bell beside the subscribe button button tap on it so that you stay notified with new video uploads on this channel this is a natural hair and lifestyle channel so expect more good content as usual so yeah i'm going to see you in my next video do take care of yourself use menstrual cups they are eco-friendly they're economical you're saving the environment and you're also protecting the coral reefs okay all right i'll see you guys bye